Welcome viewers. I am Thomas Hunt, Group Chief Strategy and Technology Officer of Asiata Group Berhard. Before we begin, it is important for me to let you know that this video features an AI-generated version of me. While the person you see and hear looks and sounds like me, this isn't really me, but an avatar created using artificial intelligence. Pretty cool, isn't it? Rest assured, the information presented in this video are an accurate reflection on what we have disclosed in our Integrated Annual Report 2023. Our network transformation strategy is a pivotal accelerator of our Telco Techco trajectory. Through the application of Techco principles such as delayering, asset lighter, while more talent-centric, open architecture alongside the adoption of cutting-edge technological advancements, Asiata's network transformation strategy is designed to amplify capital returns and spawn new growth frontiers. Our network transformation strategy focuses on simplification and cost optimization while enabling new advanced use cases for both consumers and enterprises. It centers around eight main themes. In anticipation of 5G launches in our footprint markets, we are actively pursuing preparations by making our networks 5G ready and formulating underlying spectrum strategies and developing use case roadmaps. As part of embracing cloudification and preparing for 5G, in particular for enablement of future 5G SA use cases such as 5G Red Cap, 5G Passive IoT and 5G Slicing, we are moving towards the implementation of cloud-native 5G SA convergent cores. Making our networks autonomous and using automation and AI, both traditional and generative AI at scale being the centerpiece of activities during the next few years. We have defined achieving autonomous network level 3 by 2025 as the interim goalpost for which we have a deployment framework with defined key use cases for rollout in place, aspiring major advancements towards self-optimizing, self-healing, self-protecting, and self-learning networks. Those together will lead to material cumulative CAPEX savings and CAPEX efficiency gains, will generate significant OPEX savings, and will enable a vast array of new, exciting, advanced use cases for both consumers and enterprises, and therewith revenue opportunities. We have implemented numerous network transformation and modernization initiatives across all OPCOs during 2023, amongst our physical activities such as site outdoorization, battery modernization, antenna and radio modernization, as well as legacy shutdown, but also soft actions like advancing automation of network operation, AI algorithm at work to reduce energy consumption and AI and advanced analytics-based network capacity planning. A few further fantastic achievements being Smart and Huawei deployed the world's first gigagreen FDD tri-mid band 8T radios, which doubled capacity and increased speed to 2.5 times, compared with traditional base stations, while consuming less energy, and Dialog solar power project and battery bank upgrade led to a reduction of the number of electrical generators by 33, resulting in lowering the costs for using portable backup generators from 25 million Sri Lankan rupees in 2022 to 7.5 million Sri Lankan rupees in 2023, while able to withstand prolonged national grid power outages. While Smart and XL had shut down 3G already in 2022, 3G was completely shut down in Dialog in November 2023, while only a small number of residual 3G sites with Robbie remain, which are meant for shutdown in 2024. By repurposing the spectrum used for 3G towards 4G, a significant uplift of 4G capacity and user experience has been achieved. 